This video goes through basic sketching of trig graphs and all we're going to be changing is the period and the amplitude. And you know from the investigation of the graphs that the period is given by the number with the x and the amplitude is a number in front. So if I have y equals 4 cos x, the amplitude is 4. Okay, so that's given by the number out the front. Now for the period, we look at the number with the x. Now nothing is happening with that x, so my period is going to remain as my 360 degrees. The other thing you need to remember is what a basic cos graph looks like, and it starts at the top and then goes down. Okay, so to get our four key points, which is what we have to use to label our curve, we get our period and we divide it by four. So 360 divided by four is equal to 90 degrees. So on our axes, we're going to have to have 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, and 360 deg degrees. And you'll remember that that's just your basic unit circle angles, 0, 90, 180, 360. So now we can move to drawing our graph. Okay, label your axes, y and x. My amplitude is 4, so it's going to go between 4 and negative 4. Label my four points, so you might go 1, halve it, then halve it again. Use a ruler, make your life easier. My axes is labeled with 90, 180, 270, 360. They're in degrees. Now this is where you might find it beneficial to draw some dotted lines for where your amplitude is and also your x scale. So we know for cos we're starting at the top, down, down, up. Up. So we're just following the dots that I put on this basic graph. Join the dots. Now it's going to keep going at the end and also the beginning. So just turn, curve it, and put an arrow. So this is y equals 4 cos of x. Moving on to our next one, y equals 3 sine of x. So our amplitude is 3. And our period, nothing's happening with the x, so it's just 360 degrees. My basic sine curve starts at 0, 0 and keeps going. So my four key points are these here. Now if you forget where if the cos curve starts at the top or the sine curve starts at the top, remember your little unit circle. This is the point 1 0. Now cos theta is x and sine theta is y. So you remember that cos x starts at 1 and sine, sorry, cos theta starts at 1 and sine theta starts at 0. So that's a good way to remember. Now draw, um, sorry, now we have to divide our period. We kind of already done it for the first question, so we don't need to do it again, but we'll just do it anyway. So divide your period by 4, so that gives you your x-axis scale. Draw our axes, put in our amplitude. Our amplitude this time is 3, so we're going between 3 and negative 3. Our four key points on our scale, label our axes y and x. So we've got 90 degrees, 
180 degrees, 270 degrees, 360 degrees. Again, those dots might help you. You don't have to do them. Your dots, we start, it's signs, we start at the bottom. Join your dots. So that's y equals 3 sine of x. So let's do a couple more, but where our period changes. So we've got y equals 3 cos of 2x. So our amplitude is 3. And our period is going to be our 360 degrees divided by 2. And that 2 is because we have 2x. So that's 180 degrees. Our cos curve, we also know, starts the top and goes. Now, our period, we need to divide it by 4. So 180 divided by 4 is going to be 45 degrees. So our scale is going to be 45 degrees, 90 degrees, 135 degrees, 180 degrees. Draw your axes. So our amplitude is 3. So 3, negative 3. Label my axes while I remember. Our four key points on our scale for our x, 45 degrees, 90 degrees, 135 degrees, 180 degrees. Again, if it helps, draw in a grid. Probably use a ruler since mine's pretty dodgy in this section here. Okay, so it's a cos curve. So we start at the top, down, down, up, up, join the dots. Curve either end because it keeps going and label. Next one, y equals 5 sine x over 2. So my amplitude equals 5. My period is equal to 360 divided by a half which is 720 degrees. It's a sine curve, so we start at 0, 0 and go that way. We have to divide our period by 4, which is going to be 180 degrees. So our x scale is going to be 180 degrees, 180 plus 180 is 360, 360 plus 180 is 540 degrees, 540 plus 180 is 720 degrees. Always make sure that they end up being the same so you know you haven't made a mistake. Draw our axes. Amplitude is 5, so 5, negative 5. Label my axes. Divide by 4. Put in our scale. Draw your grid. And put in your graph. Join your dots. And label.